Alright, so I still wanted to show you about the paper fold. Alright, so just let's make this about the sketchbook application this time. Alright, so opening it, you can just set your canvas to any how you want to. You can make it a profile picture or any kind of canvas you want. Alright, so this is the canvas I choose to set mine. Uh, so if you want to set your canvas, you just come to oh sorry, you come to uh, this new sketch and then custom, then you can input anything you want. You understand me now and you click on the check mark <clears throat> now i will import the picture i wish to use all right Sorry. um where do i save it where do i save it okay just let me go to my pixel i think that okay <clears throat> so yeah it is imported now just let me resize this and then use you know my transform to instead of using uh, any other fuse or trying to drag from any other area i'll just use my transform tool all right so well for me i think autodex is much more better easy to use for me much more than uh, than pixlab is that okay maybe because i'm used to the application all right so i'll click on my check mark but you can as well let me duplicate this to make another example for you you can still use your transform tool all right and use uh, your transform then you try to make it come downwards like this and then this area you drag it and make it you know you make it to come in just as if it's coming in you understand me all right so i'm going to make it for the two and then we see the difference between what I did now and the other one. Understood? All right. So below it, I'm going to import my shadow now. Like I said, if you want to get the shadow, just join my Telegram link, my Telegram group link. Down where's this video? It is in the description box. All right. I'm not gonna send this to anybody on WhatsApp, please. All right, because I can delete it. So it will just be on uh, my Telegram channel. You see it there anytime you join. All right now. So I'm trying to set it. Can you see this? Well, one thing you need to know about Autodex now. Let's use the transform. All right. you see what i'm trying to do i'm trying to make the two sides you know to uh to fold the two sides of the picture i want it to be folded now i will still use my transform and then i will shoot it this side also good can you see what sketchbook can do now to do that on Pixlab, actually, it's gonna take time. It's gonna take time, a lot of time. Can you see this now? Now, uh, I can decide to change my colors. All right. I can even color pick. I can color pick and then just uh, fill the color to, my, to the downwards part. Can you see that? Oh my God. So, well, I don't know. Maybe it's because I'm used to using sketchbook application. Maybe that's why, you know, I'm always um, thinking of what to do with it. Can you see? So you can just fill in any color you want, and if you don't have any color you want to fill, uh, nothing to worry about. You just come to your background there and you change the color. All right, you do color top. Is that okay now? So, like I said, let's make use of another now. This, don't worry, you can just save it and it will be saved. Understood? So, like I said about this second one now, uh, below it also, let us import the shadow. Alright. Okay, so I want to do one side now. Remember, if you want to do it for another side also, you just have to flip it. Is that okay? You just have to flip. Alright, so let me use my transform and just make it a little bit wide. Okay.
all right i think it's better off like this all right so now what i'm going to do is to use my eraser all right i'm going to use my eraser to clean <clears throat> Let me use my soft eraser in this axis. Okay, let me still make it go inside the little. Let me use my transform. Alright, can you see that? So finally I have to make it fit inside. That's one beautiful thing about us is you can drag from any side. Alright. Now let me use my soft eraser to make it to finally blend in. Great. So can you see this now? Alright, so that's your paper fold effect. You get that now guys. Thank you for watching. Please if you see that these tutorials are very useful for you, please do like and subscribe to this YouTube channel and God bless you as you do so.